it's your girl beautiful brown baby doll and today I'm gonna to be teaching you how I achieve this sleek high ponytail on natural hair and I was a little bit nervous about doing this tutorial to be honest because I hadn't worn a weave ponytail since high school and we ain't gonna talk about how long ago that was however I've seen a lot of beautiful young ladies on YouTube sporting this look and I wanted to give it a try I got this kinky Brazilian hair up in here now let's have a little fun experimenting with a new look now while I have you here make sure that you comment share and also subscribe to this channel and also my vlog channel make sure that you turn on your notifications so that you know when I upload and come back on all Thursdays and some Sundays for video uploads Lego so today's hair was sent to me by Lovin which is a company through AliExpress and they have been up and running for about six years now have really good reviews and I decided to go ahead and review this hair because I had seen other youtubers that had good experiences with them they sent me four total bundles bundles of this super soft kinky Brazilian virgin hair. Two of the bundles were 26 inch and two were 28 inch and I have links to everything down below in the information section if you would like to try it out. To begin I'm going to spray my hair down with a mixture of oil, water, and conditioner. This helps to prepare my hair and protect it. My hair had been recently washed and dried but it hadn't been stretched in any way just yet. I am pulling it all the way from the edge line all the way up the hair and I am doing this on the nape and on the forehead and all the way around. Now I learned a little trick from Smartista Beauty here on YouTube is to put it through your hair so that it helps to make the hair extra sleek and that did work. I'm using the got to be glued ultra glued styling gel. Beware this stuff is extra sticky baby. You will truly be sticking to walls if you do not wash your hands after using this or use a towel to wipe it off but it does make a real shiny sleek looking slicker. I'm also going to be using the you got this hair ties that have have no metal on them they're the ouchless bands and I really like them because they're a little bit bigger than the others out there and my hair is thick so I like to brush those edges up first and then sleek the rest up with my fingers mind you I'm going to be putting my scarf on overnight so I'm not too worried about it drying too fast I can go ahead and use this method and I'll be able to adjust my ponytail or bun if it doesn't work out I just pull my hair through bunning it and then then pinning the excess hair around that doesn't fit in the bun. I find that I often have to redo this bun a couple times and that's okay if you have to to get it right. Also I brush up those edges with my board bristle brush and I make sure that enough gel is placed on those edges to keep them sleek. Again I'm going to comb them down instead of just brushing them as well and smooth the rest with my fingertips and I make sure that I brush the back up extra good and I just tie them down. I'm using my satin pieces a scarf first and then a larger satin scarf for sleeping so that's how I sleep and that is enough to slick the hair down all the products I'm mentioning today are down in the information section so you can definitely find them there tying down overnight this is what the edges look like they look very sheeny kind of shiny and very sleek to the touch and yes the gel can dry your edges out but because I use the conditioner under my hair doesn't feel crusty and very hard at all it just feels really sleek now I'm taking one of the 28 inch bundles I start by laying the ends of the weft right there across the top of the bun and then secure it with a bobby pin I bring the rest of the weft around the entire bun making sure that the wefts aim upward now this helps because it allows you to control the direction of your ponytail and also hide the bun underneath I continue this until all of the hair on the weft have run out and I secure the end with a bobby pin it was hilarious to me that I I still remembered how to do this even though I hadn't done it since high school it was so simple and then I go in second with one of the 26 inch bundles and I'm going to do the same thing I did with the 28 inch wrapping it around make sure that it's kind of tight not too tight that your head hurts but just enough that it's going to stay secured and stay in place I'm adding a third bundle of the 28 inch and I'm doing it the same way. I staggered it with the 28 inch and the 26 inch because I wanted the hair to kind of have like a layered look since it was laying to the side. Instead of being blunted on the ends it gives it kind of a choppy razory layered feel. I simply secure that last piece with a bobby pin as well. I ensure that the hair is pulled over to the side that I want it to and then I take out a little piece along the back and wrap it around so that you're not able to see the wefts 
this and I make sure that I do this kind of tight as well it kind of makes it look more natural and I do two pieces because it also gives a little bit of lift to your ponytail so that's a cool little tidbit just makes the ponytail look higher and more dramatic and that's what I was going for if I'm a word of style I want it to be dramatic and there you have it that how to on the sleek and sexy high ponytail I really like it I like the way that my hair turned out especially with the conditioner and gel mix but more so I really liked how the hair looked pretty similar to my own I got it in the 1B and I'm actually happy that I did because it matched my hair pretty nicely it didn't look far off I was pretty happy with this so here's some last minute tips and information about the hair in terms of this being my first weave ponytail since high school, I really did enjoy this. I enjoyed making this video, but I also feel that it was made easy by the hair. The last thing I purchased anything other than braiding hair or clip-ins has been a while. And more specifically, wefted hair, I haven't purchased any of this since I was in high school. I like the way that the hair was even wefted and bonded with all this shaking and rolling and twirling like Tina Turner. I experienced very little shedding. This is not heavy. I don't feel like my hair is coming out. I'm gonna go ahead and keep this hair and create a wig. That will be a video for you guys that I'll make a little bit later on. But overall, I'm very satisfied with this. The young lady that helped me out, that reached out to me for me to do this collaboration with Lovin was very kind, very concerned. Concerned. She checked in with me to see if I was comfortable with the hair. I told her my whole story and how I was getting back into trying new things. This may be the type for you to try out. I think it's worth it. The hair feels good. I'm sure I'll be updating you guys soon when I get into washing it more and doing more stuff with it. But it seems very durable. I haven't put any heat on it. Even out of the bag, I thought that the creases would annoy me in the ponytail, but they don't. So I decided not to put heat on it right this moment, especially since I plan to make it into a wig and I want to see what that will look like first. I feel like this hair has a nice sheen and it looks much like the sheen of my own. Thanks so much for watching guys. If you enjoyed this quick tutorial let me know down below. Also make sure you give it a thumbs up, comment, share, and also subscribe. Thanks so much for watching guys. Beautiful brown baby doll. Peace.